Hi, welcome back. We're doing some more uh, day drinking and crafting. Um, mostly because Matthew and I are having fun doing it. Um, I have so far been really unsuccessful about getting the editing and getting the videos up where people can watch them. But um, that's my goal for next week. So uh, in any case, this uh, today's project is um, a little uh, gift bag. It's not really a gift bag, but like a little uh, gift treat, a way of uh, giving uh, candy basically to children. And who doesn't love giving candy to children? Um, one of the best parts of the Christmas party, for me anyway, is getting all of those children that are not my own sugared up and um, wound up and, you know, going at it about a 10 on a scale of 1 to 5 and then sending them home with their parents. Um, but in any case, uh, so today's project is um, uh, a fun way to uh, give candy to children like I said plus if you're clever it's also a good way of getting rid of leftover Halloween candy but more about that in a minute so today's shot um, is gonna be Irish cream because who doesn't love Irish cream um, and like I always say know your limits we're gonna go with five because five is a good number So, five shots of Irish cream. Here we go. Happy holidays. One. One shot of Bailey's Irish cream. Ha, 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 ha. If you don't get that, I'm really, really sad for you. Um, I, I don't get it. Yes, you do. I do? Like the count on um, Sesame Street? Um, well, see, now, because I said that... Everybody at home three, gets it too. Three counts. Three shots of three counts. Ha ha ha. One count. Four. Four shots of Irish cream. Ha 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 ha. I feel like it might have been funny the first time. Fair enough. Five shots. Let's get to crafting. All right, so on this one, um, you need some little rolls, uh, empty rolls. Um, these are paper to, or toilet paper rolls, um, but you could do paper towel rolls that you kind of trim down, and uh, tissue paper, and then candy. And like I said, if you're smart, you have leftover Halloween candy. For years, like literally for years, uh, I would just have, you know, the boys leftover Halloween candy and then come Christmas we would creatively gift that up and give it away to other children um, at the Christmas party. Um, pretty much right up until the point that they stopped trick-or-treating. Um, and I told Matthew this year um, at uh, the church Halloween event that if he didn't go out there and do some trick-or-treating, I had no idea what we were going to give children at our at our party. And, he um, suggested, rather unkind-heartedly, meanly, that I didn't have to be such a cheapskate and that, uh, you know, I should actually purchase candy to give to these children, which I guess is what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I basically just cut them in half so that you have, like, a long, thin sheet. You take your roll and you roll it up like so and then um, we're using the washiti tape it's right in front of right me. in there front you of go. me I'm like gonna start yelling at Matthew because he misplaced it again um, again and you know like from the first video when I couldn't find it because it was... You know what I'm hearing? A lot of this. And what am I wanting to hear? More of that. Um, so, pick one of these tapes. I don't care which one. Let's go with the silver one. Um, and you're going to use a tiny bit.
and you're going to twist off one of these sides like this. And this is way more than what I need. Um, and just tape it off. You only want to do one side because if you were paying attention, you'll remember that I have not put any candy in here yet. Um, and then, you know, kind of use your finger to make sure that it's open and that you can actually get the candy in and then just drop in some candy. This is hard candy um, that I got at the dollar store. Um, one of my children used to call this old people candy um, because he felt that it's the kind of candy that old people always had in their purse. If you, you know, had a dry throat or a cough and, you know, an old person would reach in their purse and in any case, old people candy. Then, once you've got the candy in there, and I don't know if you were paying attention, but I put a little candy cane because, you know, it is Christmas. Um, and that sort of, you know, is my my trick to the the candy is, like, I'm giving leftover Halloween candy. And then I'll put in, I don't know, like, one red Hershey's Kiss or one candy cane. One tiny little piece that makes it Christmassy. And then I'll be like, bam, Christmas candy. Um, because that's festive. And so then you twist the other side, use the other little piece of tape, and then twist that off. Um, probably could have done a little bit better job of centering it um, so that, you know, you have equal amounts of fluffiness on both sides. And then, uh, if you're wanting to do something, you know, more festive than this, um, you can use this wasabi tape. Wasabi tape. tape. What's it called? Sushi tape. Sushi tape. Um, and uh, use it to decorate by putting little stripes or whatever. Um, which, uh, I mean, I don't know the full history of this sushi tape, but um, I do know that's what it's used for, is that it's, it's decorative tape, it's low tack, which means that it's just sticky enough to stick to your paper, but it's not so sticky that you can't peel it off once it's on there. Um, you know, and kind of use it to make little stripes or whatever so that it's kind of cute. Um, so that's the first one. And here we're gonna do the next one. And I'm rolling it up. How many kids did we say were coming to the party? This year? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I had no part in inviting or in the invitation at all this year. That all happened while I was like not at home. And then you were like, hey, look what I have. These are what the invitations look like. And I was like, oh, okay. Where were you? I don't know. Renzo's? Maybe. Maybe. No. Was I? I don't know. I honestly don't have a clue. Okay. So, twist off. Use a little bit of tape. Now, this time I probably used not enough tape. And then, add the candy. people candy. Ooh, that was pineapple. I feel like pineapple is probably not an old person flavor. Strawberry and orange, those are... Are you being old peopleist? No, I'm not being old peopleist. I am an old person. Ish. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm, I, I want to point out you said that on video, so I'm forever going to use that against you. Hey, as long as I'm in the young adult Sunday school, nearly young adult, what do they call it? Youngish adults. Youngish adults Sunday school class. Then I'm gonna go with I'm I'm young. When we first joined the church, they asked Kathleen if she wanted to be in the young professionals, or the yeah the young professionals. Like if, if she wanted to be in the young professionals Sunday school class, and she was like, well, I guess sure that sounds like. And then they asked me if I wanted to be in the young adults, and so I told Kathleen that that was clearly because when they looked at the two of us, they could tell that, you know, I was much younger than she was. This is the same Sunday school class, but Larry Hawkins was calling it the young adults, and 
think uh, Pam Williams was calling it the young professionals, but in any case, same as in his request. All right, so here we go. A little bit of tape. And they, they look kind of like those, um, what do they call them, poppers, those English things where you pull them and there's a loud explosion and um, only, you know, this is not what it, what's going to happen when you pull these, but... I was going to say, if they were square, we could sell 24 of them in a box for 19 large, or 9 large dollars and call them naked caramels. We could. They do kind of look like naked caramels. See, look. Because of how they're wrapped. Spirally thing, all festive. But you're being but, all creative. There we go. So, uh, only five shots and uh, two little candy things, and I think I probably have 25 more candy things to do. Um, so, uh, I will let you go and I will work on that. Um, thank you and I uh, hope you're enjoying this as much as Matthew and I are. Happy holidays and um, we'll talk to you soon.